Hello? Good morning, Graham, Grundy. I trust you are well on this fine day. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon Buttercream Spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh, I guess we do. Your firmware, it's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. Why should I? Oh, Graham, what a ridiculous question. How do you expect to access your messages? Or vote on important city issues? Or use the travel system? Please consent to the firmware update. Okay, here goes. Well, that's very strange. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. So is my firmware all up to date? It sure is, Citizen Graham. Now you can get back to being a top-notch citizen again. I see you have two weeks of public voting to catch up on. Better find a terminal and hop to it. Listen, I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. Would you mind scanning my U-chip like you did before? But, Graham, your firmware is up to date. Humor me. Okay. Well, that's very strange. There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a precise log of this entire conversation, and I said no such thing. It appeared that every time she tried to access my data, the last few seconds of her memory was wiped. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Yeah. Why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops, gotta go. Now that I dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new idea. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here.
I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Hooray! Another customer! Please scan your new chip to place an order. Excuse me. Greetings, citizen. Have you come for another extra-large fluoride orange spankles with extra foam? I don't know if that's my sort of thing. Incorrect. According to your order history, it is your new favorite beverage. My order history? Indeed, Citizen Graham. You love it. What do you do here? My name is Barry, and it is my pleasure to serve fresh, crisp, premium spankles to the wonderful people of Union City. Do you prepare the spankles to order? No, sir. That would be unforgivably inefficient. I merely have to collect the flavor from the dispensary and... Voila! Can I get a can of Spankles? Simply scan your U-chip here on the counter, Citizen Graham. Great. What flavors are available? No need, Citizen Graham. Your favorite flavor will be provided from your order history. I assure you, if you are unhappy with the result, your taste buds can be recalibrated. Bye for now. Have a great day! One fresh, premium Spankles. The sound system projected music around the whole cafe. Please scan your new chip to place an order. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. Happy aspiration day. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here. Please scan your new chip to place an order. I'd never tell him, but Joey's statue looked magnificent. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Hey, got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. You sound just like that cafe droid. Barry? That's the one. Are you related? We did come off the same production line, and we do indeed have identical voice units. But I am nothing like that no-good, rusty, two-faced vending machine. Wow, I didn't realize droids could feel such emotion. Oh, I only have one emotion. Happiness. What do you do here? My name is Hollow, and it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And... What are you serving? Well, social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. What is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city exclusive to social climbers, such as the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. 
How can I get my hands on one of these brooches? You didn't receive one in the post? I don't think so. That's because aspiration brooches are only delivered to social climbers. You need an awful lot more kudos to be in with a shop. Maybe next month, eh? Sure. Or year, perhaps. What can you tell me about the Council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. The Citadel? Where the Council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. I'll see you later. I can't wait. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham... my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. Hey, buddy, watch where you're standing! What's your problem? Your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> what? Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah? And what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. I'll leave you to... whatever it was you were doing. Aw, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm... Very busy. Hey, Dirtbag! What's your favorite color? Huh? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Blue. Lame. But you're wearing... Never mind. Later, man purse. Later, uh... Backpack. Ha! <laughs> you got nothing. 
Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Apologies, Citizen Graham. This is not your residence. The picture showed an utterly unfamiliar scene from a bygone era. Wait, I know that you, Chip. Oh my, is it really? Yes, it is. Master Graham, you have returned. How wonderful. Oh, good day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, Madam. He has, but that's... Wonderful! Oh! Thank Joey! My dear husband is back! Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my Kudos records? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the Mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. The pictures were all of Graham's wife. They were photochemical prints taken using an old-style film camera. The retro technology had managed to blend songbirds seamlessly into the fake backgrounds. The photography was impressive, but the subject didn't look happy. Something told me the fire was not authentic. City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today? Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, yes, sir. And it would appear Sir has gained some height as well. Bravo! Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was Sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is Sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here, then, is it not, sir? I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Never mind. Perhaps later. Very good, sir. 
Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully declined, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, sir. I have been Sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You... Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. Tell me about that woman. A woman? Can Sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird. Clearly, Sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? Uh, me, Sir. Who was that guy in here when I arrived? Is Sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. That would be the Honorable Mentor Alonzo, Senior Officer at the Ministry of Wellbeing. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Mentor Alonzo indicated that there were one or two anomalies in Master Graham's records. Public voting, kudos levels, employment, whereabouts within the city... Just some minor things, then. Consumption patterns, bio-signs, indication of physical existence... I think I get the picture. But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. So, what do you do, Chipworth? Whatever Sir desires. Can you juggle? Sadly, Sir, one's capabilities are restricted to the minutiae of domestic service. Shame. We are what we are, Sir. At least as far as anyone else needs to know. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with a citizen's well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizen's health and happiness, their relationships and social life. All of the utmost importance to the Ministry. He might also inquire if sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe sir's two-week-long work, poll and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. <sighs> Tempting. But I'd already had my monthly bath. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations! It has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing Biomodification Database. Please wait. Removing Cardiac Implant Registration. Registering Shriebman Port as New Implant. The scanner had detected my Shriebman Port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. What devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shriebman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. 
Drink Spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. There was a boot print, curious. A box had been hidden outside the window. If I could get the window open, I'd be able to reach that box. shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive. Fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They looked blissfully in love. The pictures in the apartment told a sad story. A blissful romance that had soured with time. Rhythmic gymnastics, first place. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. I wondered if Graham self-medicated. Giant scorpions in the sewers. Real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. When I came to Union City ten years ago, this was very much the case. These days, I wasn't so sure. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had gathered quite a bit of information about his health and social situation, but I still needed to know exactly what he did for a living. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. Among the drawings were photographs, land trains, and the city walls? Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. A 
sword? The blade was cracked. I wondered if the people knew that Hobart agents had helped me save their city. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. The droids who stare at goats. A classic. <laughs> 